What up, guys? Some of Vibration Nation. Uh, it's your boy Big D, Darnell Cole here, and um, it's been a while since I've done a video, and I'm sorry. Uh, I've just been busy, as you can see. I shaved, and um, I had to take a lot of time to deal with that, as I'm sure you guys do too. But for this video coming back, I figured I'd do a little rig rundown. So uh, let's get to it. As for guitars, uh, we're gonna start off with this one. This is my vintage uh, VSA 5003 um because it's got the three humbuckers here um so it's neck and middle and then we have all three and then we have bridge and middle and i have three volumes and instead of a tone i opted for the very tone when it's full open it's kind of big and beefy and you know 335 sounding essentially um, on two it's a little bit more less poly three is not a, not a strat or nothing it's like this awkward tone and then it all the way down to just like it's only good for recording <laughs> essentially but uh that, this is my main girl her name's etta for those who are curious that's guitar number one guitar number two is nala another vintage vsa 500 um this one was the 590 or p90 i don't remember the exact name sorry dennis I've got the filtertron supertrons in it um and they're nice i like them i've been digging on them um this one's just you know your normal set up I might go back to the p90s that were in it uh you know i'm one of those guitars i can never make up my mind is uh what sound what pickups i like this one's carol carol my sweet girl here she's another vsa 500 um she inspired etta realistically um shout out to vintage guitars for all so taking care of me um also got a bigsby on this one these are gfs powertrons and i really like these I might, I might get more of these for either Etta, maybe throw them in all. These are low-key my favorite pickups of the bunch. Um, they just got a really good tone. Really, really good tone. Um, yeah, she's a, she's a fun little girl. And those who remember me from the Porcelain Hill days, or who know about me from Porcelain Hill, recognize Mama J. Um, this was my main workhorse for a long, long time. A vintage V6 MR. Uh, custom. It was an MRTVG, which is the Thomas Blue one, but I did some things. It's got the reverse pickup. Um, I got a three-way switch, uh, and it's wired neck, middle bridge, and then just bridge. Um, yeah, definitely one of my uh, definitely one of my faves. I don't use it as much as I'd like to, to be honest. But uh, look, at, look at that pick guard right there. I don't even remember the website. Um, Quickguards, quickguards.com. Yeah, man, in the show pink. And I, I caught this garter at a show, fun fact. Yeah, this is uh, Mama Jay's, a, she's a sweet girl. Okay, so first thing we're going to start here is the Power Box Li2 from Big Joe Stomp Box. Um, this is my power supply, so it's a lithium battery. So as you can see, I don't need to plug in to anything else. Um, I got the Holy Grail over here for the reverb. Actually, let's do this proper. Let's start with what we come into. So I come into a tuner, because every guitar player should know how to tune. Dunlop Mini Wah for the extra extra tone. Um, the MXR bass. This is set all kinds of wrong. MXR bass octave. Um, there's a vintage mode on it, but I'm not necessarily a big fan. But that's where I get like some of the cool, deeper, fun tones. And then if anyone's seen me at my Looper gigs, that's one of the ways I can get a bass sound in my bass setting on my Looper pedal. Um, this is a Joyo American. I'm guessing is it? It's a drive of sorts. You know, it was a $25 pedal, and I honestly originally really didn't like it, but this has been like my favorite drive pedal. Um, I usually have the level set a little bit more, or like the drive up just like that, depending, but this thing can get pretty fuzzy when you want it to, but it's it's really nice. This one is dope, this Hizumitis pedal. Oh, I gotta turn this one on too so you guys see the light, because you guys are light little light bugs. The Hizumitis uh, fuzz here, this one's pretty sick. Uh, I'm a big fan of it anyway. It gets pretty gnarly when you want it to. Um, yeah. And then, of course, you have to have the Univibe. Um, for those who've heard my new single, which is still out on Spotify and everywhere. I don't know why I just said Spotify. It's out everywhere. You can go find it. Um, I used a lot of this. Univibe was for sure an integral part on that one. And then, of course, you got the Holy Grail reverb, which is dope. Um, typically, I'll run this into the front of the amp 
and then I'll run these two to the effects loop on the back and that gives it some dope sound. For the amp, it's just an Orange Crush Pro. Um, I know that that's a little lackluster and everyone was expecting something crazier, more like tube based, but honestly, like this amp does it. Um, yeah, this amp is just, you know, it, it has the tone. It's solid state, but dang, it doesn't sound, it sounds good, man. And I got the uh, the Black Star 2x12. And that's basically my little setup. Let's, uh, let's hear some tones through this thing, man. So yeah, that's basically my, my rig um, with little funky, groovy vibes going on. Um, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in for that. You know, um, the next stuff I got coming out, some really cool stuff. I got a music video coming out for my song On My Own, which is available on all streaming platforms. Just saying. Got another single coming out in January. I might have a Christmas single coming out. We'll see. We'll see if uh, things work out. Other than that, please, you know, like, subscribe. Seriously, hit the little like button. Hit the subscribe button wherever it's at. That goes a long way. Um, and share this video. Tell your friends about me. And, you know, let's let's expand the Vibration Nation. And leave a comment below with what your rig is. Because I'm actually kind of curious what you guys run, what, you got, what your setup is, um, and what you guys think of mine. Let me know. Let's talk. Let's chat. Um, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope to see you guys next time. And uh, fly on.